Well, good morning. Um, I'm over here by my neighbors, my, my business neighbor, and uh, she came over and uh, she was asking. She's got the some of these bushes out in the front, and you can see the leaves are curled up. So that's that's definitely an indication that something's wrong, and and there is. And this um, this bush has lots of aphids, and I'm gonna try to zoom in here. I don't know how this is gonna show up. But you can see there's there's these little black specks kind of poking out of the stems, and that those are aphids. Those are actually black bean aphids. And what they do, uh, I'm trying to zoom in here. You can see all the little black specks. They poke in almost like a mosquito, okay? And they suck the juice from the plant, and they they'll destroy the plant uh, in that way. And aphids are, aphids are a, uh, they're kind of my worst enemy and something I do not want to see in the greenhouse. So we, we take a preventative measure and we, we go through and we, um, you know, I give them a systemic uh, quite often. You can see the aphids on, on here and in this plant here. So there's a bunch of them there. But this yesterday, I should have, I should have took a video yesterday. There were this, the, the stems are just full of them and you can have a, you can have a bad uh, infestation with aphids very quickly uh, because each aphid will give live birth to 40, uh, 40 more aphids about every two days. And then those, those aphids will mature and they'll give live birth to 40 more aphids and it, 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 gets, it, it gets pretty bad pretty quickly. So um, she asked if we could do something. And, and what I did is I went through and a uh, a couple different ways that I that I did it. You can see the white dust um, on this on this bush here, uh, and that's just a garden dust. And that really seemed to knock them down, and that seemed to help do the trick. Aphids are tough to kill, and you want to really you know prevention is is the key. And um, so I did a couple different things, and I went down here on the base of the plant, and um, just as prevention. I went through and I gave it a systemic. So, and you can find the systemic at like Curvitz Feed Mill they have. And it's a sprinkle, you know, it's a granular that you put at the base of the plant. And as you water, as it gets rain, it'll go into the plant and into the roots and up into uh, the leaves and the stems. And what happens is when the aphids uh, poke in or pierce, or if it's a munching like a caterpillar or a rose chafer, you know, like a beetle, when they munch on it, then they'll die. So that's the prevention end of it, and you want to you want to keep on top of that. But uh, with an infestation of aphids like like this uh, bush is, you know, you, you, we have to take some measures. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spray it also. So I'm going to come at it a couple different ways. I'm gonna, just trying to see if I can zoom in. Like here's here's some aphids, and normally they're underneath the leaves. But actually, they on this one they were lined up all over uh, the stems, and they they like a tender uh, plant, and they'll poke in and pierce in with their their mouth. It's only like again, it's almost like a mosquito pokes into our skin. They'll poke in and they'll drink. And they have a funny relationship with ants. And yesterday I, I did see some ants crawling on this, and and it's. It's kind of cool. The ants actually take the aphids and they move them to where they want them. And so sometimes when you see ants crawling up and down uh, a plant, eh, you better make sure you better look underneath the um, the leaves to see if there is if there is any aphids. So the ants they actually take and they move the the aphids around and let them poke into the plant and drink. And then it's kind of gross, but the aphids will then excrete a sweet excrement and that's and the ants drink that so so if you see ants crawling around then um, then watch watch and look for aphids so I'm gonna go over to this plant here under this bush and um, this one had it's funny that the the other plant had the black aphids this one has the typical green ones and you can see right here there's an aphid, there's a couple aphids on top. Normally I look underneath the leaves, so typically they're actually underneath. Um, and it, you know, they, there's a lot of things in your garden, uh, like pepper plants. They love pepper plants, so you really wanna watch your peppers and actually take that leaf and flip it upside down just to check underneath to make sure that there's no aphids because a lot of times they're hiding underneath. And this is actually not not looking too bad, uh, but this this one had the green aphids on it, and there were a few. 
Uh, the other one had was just loaded with the black aphids. So I'm going to go through. I'm going to take some malathion and spray, spray these, and uh, uh, try to knock them down that way. So a couple different ways that we're going to do it. But then you know, the other thing is, I, and I saw my first rose chafer, and here it is. I'm trying to. I'm going to try to zoom in. This is a rose chafer, and it's June, so they are out. And uh, they're, they're the next nasty ones that you'll see. They only last for maybe a week or two, but they can be absolutely de detrimental. So this is what a rose chafer looks like. And again, we want to use a systemic uh, to help kill those guys. And you'll see them on your petunias. They'll just absolutely decimate your petunia, the flowers. And um, we noticed, uh, you know, here in the village of Crivets, we do the red, white, and blue flowers all along the, the main drag uh, on the benches, and they love the white petunias. And that's when we know when they're out is when you see the white petunias all munched up. So we hit, we hit those two with a systemic so that when they, they munch, then they die. Now the rose chafers, they don't, they don't last very long, but a lot of bugs are out right now. So a lot of caterpillars, uh, a lot of... Uh, Cutworms I've been hearing about in, in the gardens. Cutworms have been doing a little destruction and you'll notice they'll, it, it, happens, it happens at night. So you'll, you'll go to your garden in the morning and they, uh, it's just like somebody went along and cut your plants. So they'll, they'll, they're a little caterpillar that come up out of the ground and they'll, they'll cut and, and, uh, and, and kill and destroy. So, so yeah, you have to use, you know, like for the cutworms, uh, the diatomaceous earth, that's, that's a good um, killer for them. They don't, uh, somehow that, that goes inside their body and it kills them. Uh, but the rose chafers, uh, the, the aphids, go ahead and get, get some systemic insecticide. You want to use that as a um, preventative. And if you do have an infestation for aphids, then I would suggest a spray. You want to spray right on top of it, uh, like a malathion. Uh, or the garden dust. The garden dust, I was surprised it really did uh, did the trick on, on the aphids on, on this bush here. So um, those are, they're, they're kind of nasty. They're out. Um, but hope that helps you, you know, for your prevention and, and just stay on top of it. So we'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.